What's going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here and I have a book review and it is of The Haunting of Lee Harker. Now, I finished this book in one sitting and I'm absolutely stunned with the writing in this book. So, this is my first Darcy Coates book and it was just really enjoyable and a really wonderful experience experience for me and it's just I have nothing but praises for this book it's just absolutely wonderful our main character's name is of course Lee Harker like the title of the book and this cover is just absolutely gorgeous with its ice blue coloring and white so but I have to say the back of this book's title is really catching like the summary of it Sometimes the dead reach back. And this book just really surprised me with all its twists and turns, but it was just a really cozy read for me as a reader. It was just absolutely phenomenal. I have to say, I love the friendship chemistry between this elderly woman named Sarah and Lee as they try to figure out what's the mystery behind this house that Lee Harker owns. And I'll definitely leave it at that because this is not a spoiler review. But anyway, the main gist of the story is that something odd is happening in Lee's house. And so Lee teams up with Sarah to figure out what it is and what's the whole deal about this house. What could it be? Who could it be? I don't know, read the book, but I have to say, definitely, if you're going into this book, I have to say the first chapter was really jarring, but not in a bad way. Hear me out. It was jarring, but not in a bad way. I went through the first hundred pages rather quite easily and enjoyably, and I feel like that's your best bet, because if you go through the first hundred pages, let me see if there's a table contents here. If you read all the way to chapter 8, Oblivion, which is the first 96 to 100 pages, you'll get a full grasp of the story. So, sorry for the long pause, but again, yeah, if you read the first eight chapters in one sitting, you'll get the full gist of the haunting of Lee Harker and what's actually going on. I mean, there's a lot of characters and suspects within this story, and I feel like this is a well-written haunted house mystery type of deal. And I'll just leave it at that because, again, I'm keeping this review squeaky clean, spoiler free. But I will say I do love the friendship dynamic between Sarah and Lee, and it's just absolutely wonderful. But definitely give the first eight chapters of Lee Harker, The Haunting of Lee Harker, a chance, and you will not be disappointed. But yeah, I really enjoyed this book as my first Darcy Coates read. I asked a YouTuber, well, booktuber named uh, Erin Megan for any Darcy Coates recommendations because I know she reads a lot of Darcy Coates and I enjoy her content. So she recommended me either The Haunting of Lee Harker or The Haunting of Ashburn House, which this book recommends it as the next read, so I might pick that up, I don't know, but I really enjoyed this. So thank you, Erin Megan, you're awesome. I really love this book, although I bought this book with my own money, but again, thank you for the recommendation, Erin. Keep on being awesome. Anyway... I give The Haunting of Lee Harker an 8.9 out of 10, so that's a solid high B grade book, and it was just really enjoyable, really pleasant, and just absolutely phenomenal as my first Darcy Coates book, and I cannot wait to read more of her work. Like, I'm also going to get back into Stephen King, and I'll also review Orochi and Beastars Volume 17 when I can from yesterday's video, so... Yeah, again, I give The Haunting of Lee Harker an 8.9 out of 10. This book is written by Darcy Coates, and 
published by Poisoned Pens, if I'm reading that right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. 8.9 out of 10. Anyway, this is Kite562 signing out. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.